saw a dude about to get his taken in prison. But there aren't that many rules amongst inmates in prison, but one of them rules is you do not steal from other inmates. I ain't never been locked up a day in my life, but let me tell y'all something. I've heard so many stories. One from YouTube, but I have friends who've been locked up. I rested there, bro. I wish my boy Crash was still, still alive because I wanted him to tell some of these stories from when he was locked up. Crash did like 18 years in prison. And the stories you were telling me were crazy. So stealing is one thing. But man said, and I've seen this on videos too. You don't take nothing from nobody in prison. The simplest thing like a honey bun, a Twinkie, could cost you your butthole. On the streets, you can steal the collection plate from your own grandma's church. And they don't care about that in prison. But you steal from other inmates and you're cooked. Being a cell thief makes you just as bad as being a snitch. If somebody catches you doing that, you are in violation. And it's up to them what they want to do with you at that point. In that declaration, everything he has is mine and he's my hoe now, that means he's gonna go that dude. Pretty sure he was walking him to the bathroom to go diddy him. You hear all them other dudes standing around laughing? Yeah, that's because they know exactly what time it is. Now look, prison morals are the absolute bottom of the barrel and they don't make a lot of sense, but I'm telling you right now, they are enforced with absolute prejudice. That's insane. I would not, not no more built like that. Ain't nobody built like that for to be taking me to the bathroom to do me dirty. Yo, have y'all ever seen the boondocks? I think that episode is called A Date with the Health Inspector. <laughs> if you've never seen that, go look that up, bro. I hate when I tell people that I only date men with money and they think that I'm dating them for their money. Like, no, I have my own motion. I just need you to have some too. I don't blame people for having their preference. I don't blame you for wanting to date men with money because I feel as though the lifestyle that you're probably used to because you said you have your own money, they're gonna be able to provide. But I want us to understand because we have a double standard that I think is not fair. Women can come out and say, I don't wanna date no broke ass nigga. Men don't do that at all. We don't care if you have money. We don't care if you're broke. We don't care if you're rich. To be quite honest with you, it's a lot of young ladies that come on the internet and say that they're only going to date somebody who makes six figures. But have yet to crack $40,000 a year. How can you request something that you don't know about? You don't know what it's like to hit six figures, but you're requesting that your man have six figures. I just think the double standard is crazy. Suppose men only dated women that were on their level. A woman will be in love with a man for three years and wake up on a random Sunday and say F that man and mean it. And I love that for us. I love being a woman. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? She loved that. You love, you love that. You love that. Yeah, I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. Don't sleep. She loved, she loved that for... I cannot... Yeah, I drop videos like this and then wonder why a lot of these guys have commitment issues. Videos like this and young ladies that think like this, you guys are fueling the red pill movement. Imagine a, a young man being so madly in love with you to the point where he sees a future with you, ready to propose, ready to give it all up, ready to be your Prince Charming. And then one day you just randomly wake up and say, you know what, I don't love him anymore. Normally, I do not respond to questions or comments like this, but today I feel a little bit differently, so I'm going to. Uh -oh. And the reason that I don't is because, first and foremost, does it really matter? Do it you date black guys? It doesn't guys. make a difference whatsoever unless you have an issue with it. And if you have an issue with it, it's... Come on, is that even a question? She looked like she date black guys. She just got that look. Your issue, it is not mine. But to answer the question or the comment, yes, I date outside of my race. Ooh. I have dated outside of my race for a number of years. If you look at my page, my kids are pinned. So that way everybody can see that I date outside of my race. Mm. My kids are mixed. Um, not that it really matters, because I feel like it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. We are all people, we are all human, and we all deserve love in some form or fashion. Mm. That's just me, that's just my opinion, and that's just how I feel. I love everybody regardless of your skin tone. At the end of the day, we all bleed the same. And at the end of the day, we all have the same common needs and desires and all of those things. But 
I believe you asked this question because you have an issue with it. Not that I have an issue with it. And if it's your issue, it is yours. No one else's. But that's just me. Thanks. Me personally, I don't have a problem with interracial dating. I think love is love. My uncle dated white women. Majority of my cousins are mixed. And I love my cousins. I feel as though every person who is not black should look at the movie Roots. Every person of non-African descent should look at the movie Roots. So you can understand what black folks went through when they came to this country. And also, as a, as a white woman or as a white man and you have kids who are mixed, you have to understand what you're signing your kids up for. Because you hear black folks complain about being black all the time and the profiling that we go through. But unless you're black, you wouldn't understand. Your kids are going to understand. And when your kids explain it to you, you're still not going to understand. So I just want you to understand what you're signing yourself up for, what you're signing your kids up for, you know, and be better informed. A lot of white women enjoy the BBC, right? And I ain't talking about the television network. I just want you to know that when that BBC put kids in you when your kids come out and they're growing up they're not going to have the same type of experience that you had growing up and that's going to be because of their skin color so yes you can say skin color doesn't matter it might not matter to you but the other people it do it's people walking around this bitch right now that's going to look at your kids and say that they're tainted that are so funny because they'll be like we're biologically stronger we're we're biologically we're stronger than women and then, like, one bad thing happens in their lives. Like, God forbid their parents get divorced when they're 12. Or, like, someone cheats on them and they're like, I'm never... No, I'm actually never going to recover. Actually, that's my whole personality now. And actually, I'm going to be mean to everyone in my life because... Because of what Rebecca did when we were 17. And I'm like, yes. You're so strong. You strong. Ugh, you strong man. Men are so funny because they'll. This is why guys are not vulnerable with y'all. This is why guys are closed up and don't tell y'all the inner workings of their their mental. I'm gonna sit on daddy lap. What, what you doing? I like how you went to cover earlier. You didn't give me nothing. Damn, you. Landed that thing like a plane. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? No, no, I never. All right, I want you to look at this. Tell me what you think. Look at two of these videos. So this is the first one. A woman will be in love with a man for three years and wake up on a random Sunday and say, F that man and mean it. And I love that for us. I love being a woman. A woman will be in love with a man for three <laughs> What? How you feel about it? I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. We be doing it every three weeks. But everything we go through in our cycle. You know what I'm saying? You feel as though that's right? Do I feel like that whole... We don't know everything, you know, that the man was doing or whatever the case may be. I think it's hum I think it's female nature. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I know plenty of times that we done said F that man. That don't mean that we actually, like, move on to thought. Maybe she been saying F that man for three weeks, for three years, and on the third. Yeah, she actually left that man. Yo, your word gymnastics are so crazy. She just said... That she will randomly wake up and say, F that nigga. And leave? And leave, yes. That's pretty much what she just said. Did she say and leave? Oh, yo, your word, gymnastics. Did oh, she say God. and leave, though? Did, did you hear her say and leave? Should we replay it? Go ahead. Okay. A woman will be in love with a man for three years and wake up on a random Sunday and say, F that man and mean it. And I love that for us. I love being a woman. A woman will be in love with a man for three years and wake up on a random Sunday and say, F that man and mean it. And I love that for us. I love being a woman. Okay, because she said and mean it. We're going to give her the benefit of the doubt that that means that and mean it means that she's really done. Okay, so she'll be in love with somebody and randomly wake up and say F that and be done with the relationship.
I love you. And I want to respond to you. But if it's going to cause, like, turmoil it's not in gonna our cause own no, relationship. It's not going to cause turmoil in our relationship. I really want to know how you think. Um, if that's how, if that's what she want to do, that's what she want to do. It's not about what. Okay, do I think it's right or wrong? In order for me to know if it's right or wrong, I would have to know how he treated her. I can't just be like, oh, that's wrong for her to randomly wake up and be like, oh, she done after three years. The whole time for the three years, she could have been like, one day, you know, I'm going to feel fulfilled in this relationship. I'm going to feel fulfilled. And then she might realize she hasn't felt fulfilled, she hasn't felt fulfilled yet and she stayed fucking. And then she did. Okay. Just a second video. Men are so funny because they'll be like, we're biologically stronger. We're, we're biologically, we're stronger than women. And then like one bad thing happens in their lives. Like God forbid their parents get divorced when they're 12 or like someone cheats on them. And they're like, I'm never, no, I'm actually never going to recover. Actually, that's my whole personality now. And actually, I'm going to be mean to everyone in my life because, because of what Rebecca did when we were 17. And I'm like, yes, you're so strong. You strong, ugh, you strong man. Men are so funny because they'll be like, Whoa. How do you feel about that? I think biologically from... A physical standpoint, men are much stronger. I think emotionally, I actually think that I think that men are innately like selfish. So, but I think they're innately selfish because of how they had to be in the past, right? Like, men in the past had to hunt, right? You know what I'm saying? So they didn't have time to be ruminating in their thoughts about certain things and having time to be indecisive, right? So I think, like, from centuries of, like, A, A or B, so I can do this and get it done, that they're wired to just, see black and white most of the time and because they're wired to see black and white most of the time when something they already decided that something is black and then it turns white it creates like a shift and it may take a long period of time for them to get over that shift to realize that oh no it's actually black or like she said they just might be like i said this shit was white it's black now now everything is black and that's how I'm moving because my brain is like A or B. So you said men are innately selfish, right, for this clip. So you don't think that's selfish what that lady said, that she could just wake up and random see, randomly say fuck that man? You don't think that's selfish at all? Yeah. But that's okay? I think it's okay that men are innately selfish too. I think like... I'm saying, I feel like men have, um, are selfish because, like, they had to learn how to survive. So, for them, survival is, like, make decisions quickly. Decide on something swiftly and quickly because my life is dependent upon it. Her, she says she's been doing it for three years. That's not, she has been, fight, I guess, fighting the selfishness, but she's going to withstand, like, okay, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. And it's like, okay. I'm done. She said that she can be in love with somebody for three years and then wake up and say fuck them. A man could too. He just don't choose to. If you're not getting what you want or what you really need from a relationship with somebody, like your core needs are not being met. No, like you know what? Maybe men just cheat. Men don't do that. But because y'all cheat. Eventually, it, it leads to that. But the, the reason niggas probably cheat is because they don't want to deal with the the negative effect of the relationship ending, meaning that let's say you married to somebody, y'all fucking get divorced because you not your needs aren't being met. The saying is cheaper to keep her is actually true. 
But it's not because, like, you can genuinely love her, but just, this is one aspect that's not getting fulfilled, so you just go out and get get it filled when you need it. You can. I mean, that could be a possibility also, but it might be a situation where you don't like her at all and shit. How you... You, you could love somebody you don't like? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know you could fall in love with somebody you don't like. You could love somebody, but don't like certain things about no, them. No, I said that you don't like. Like, not certain things you don't like mm, about nah, them. You nah, have to like them to nah, a certain You have to like somebody to a certain extent, yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but... I'm really... I wasn't expecting you to go so lightly on shorty that said that she could wake up and say, fuck, fuck him, man. That's, that's selfish. If she feel like she dying on the inside from being with somebody, why should she stay? I don't know her situation. You're right. She's saying that she could look and feel empowered now because she finally made a decision on it. She did say after three years. It's not like she said she just up after a week and was like, fuck, bump him. I don't, you don't know if he's yeah women think about so much in one day and then they think they come to a resolution and then they'll question that same resolution and it'll pop back up that's why i'm saying with men i feel like this this choice or this choice i'm choosing this this is what it is women can try to be like this choice or this choice i'm choosing this choice today the next day two days later are you sure and in our mind i'd be like where did this shit come from i said i already decided this from the air. But are you sure though? Then you have to convince yourself again or convince that voice that's like, hey girl, did you really mean that? Because look at this, look at that. It's like always something menacing. You, you have to control these things. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, if it keep on nagging you, it's like, okay, let me, let me go ahead and assess it. Already, even though I already assessed it and made my decision, maybe I need to reevaluate. And maybe through consistent reevaluation, she come up with a different answer. Mm-hmm. Or she just be like, you know, this is what it is, and I'm I'm just gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. She keep on saying that, and then one day she's just like, "I'm not okay, fuck it." You know what is crazy though? I'm surprised you ain't seen this real yet. Maybe you did. I seen it was a clip from a podcast, and this girl, I was thinking about it this morning randomly. She was like, "You know, after we've been married for a year or two, and then God told me that man is not your husband," and I was like, "We just God told you that." God said he not your husband, girl. Can we can we just say that you you just was like, I don't he not my husband no more. I just feel God told you that. I be hating when people be God said God really said that. Cause it was like, and I was just folding clothes on a random Tuesday and God said Yeah, well, you know, I'm not religious, so when people say that, that's an automatic red flag for me. I know. I mean, I'm spiritual and all that, but still like I wouldn't be like, my ancestors said, you know, like, you know, I had a feeling. Just say you had a feeling. It's okay to feel and be like, from that feeling, I decided. Like, she basically said, I, you could wake up and randomly decide. She didn't say God motivated her, inspired her to do what she just said. She randomly felt, and then she randomly acted, or allegedly. You know what I'm saying? But the whole, and then God told me that just, that's not my husband. It's just that there was nothing wrong. We were doing fine. <laughs> that I feel more, you know, passionately about than like her just saying that because shit be popping up in women's head all the time. Honestly. Well, we got you. You still didn't get me a coffee. Nah, son, you're big ass feet. My feet are big, don't be mean. <laughs> bite and bite, what's this? Let me see. 